Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist John Dissauer. Thanks for checking out my blog, New Act Dissauer. It is Saturday, or I should say Tuesday, December 21st, about uh, 1.40 in the afternoon. So happy start of winter today as we uh, go into the uh, winter time frame. Hey, Pacific satellite imagery showing you off the west coast, an area of low pressure that's spinning. This is the one I'm going to focus on here in the blog update uh, because this is the storm that is going to impact us for Christmas Eve. Uh, you can see the storm kind of churning away here in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That's why you're getting all the clouds. Also to notice uh, the big stream of clouds coming up through Southern California and uh, back over the Rockies and even sending moisture and clouds down our direction today. And notice where this all originates, down here in Hawaii. This is what we call the old Pineapple Express, helping drop moisture up out of Hawaii. Here's Precision Cast. Let's not turn our attention to here, let's, or over, the, over us, let's look out towards the west coast because this is where that storm is going to be coming from. Uh, here we are Tuesday at 7 o'clock. It's going to begin to move on shore early tomorrow morning and begin to move off to the east. Here we are at 11 o'clock central time. Uh, your low pressure is out here. Uh, so it's going to take a little while for it to get moving off to the east. Goes up into the Rockies as we head into Wednesday evening and then kind of gets lost and then ejects out here we go Thursday morning. You'll see moisture streaming north through Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska and beginning to pick up in intensity. And then here we are Friday morning at 9.30. And again, we're talking snow roughly here. We've got a little area of mixed precipitation through here, which could be rain, sleet, or snow. And then you got rain down to our south. This is our precision cast RPM model. Only goes out 72 hours. So this is as far as we can take it uh, Friday morning at 9.30. Let's also talk about how much snow we could see in the next 72 hours if you're doing any traveling. Uh, this is what you could be encountering as far as snow accumulations between now and uh, Friday morning. You'll see heavy snow beginning to develop across the Dakotas down through northern Iowa and then we're going to see a push of moisture down through southeast Missouri uh, where you can see some snow beginning to move in. The leading edge is just the one inch line then we've got one to three inch line uh, in the darker blues and then uh, you've got heavier amounts up through eastern South Dakota and northern Iowa and Minnesota. That's the 6 to 12 inch line. Here's the European model. We've got an area of low pressure. Uh, it's beginning to develop and push off to the east onto the west coast at Thursday or Wednesday morning at 2 a.m. You'll see it move through, kind of get lost up in the Rockies, and then eject out by Thursday at noon. Here's the area of low pressure on the European uh, just south of Denver, and this is going to track more southerly if you'll watch this over the next. Uh, following 24 hours. Moisture begins to stream north by Friday morning. Uh, this is the brand new 12Z run of the European. And the 0Z actually had the moisture a little further to the north, up about here. So it's interesting to note that today, or the latest run, is taking the moisture a little further south and almost keeps it south of us. Here we are Friday at 7 o'clock. It's also slowing the system down slightly. Area of low pressure now is down over New Orleans, or just off the Gulf Coast. And notice no moisture over us. Now the 0Z version was showing up much like this, but then also developing some moisture up in this general area, which would be all snow for us uh, late Friday night through Saturday morning. Here we are Saturday at 7 o'clock. The system's down to our southeast, and we start to turn cold as high temperatures on Saturday only top out in the upper 20s. Here's the GFS model. Area of low pressure is down here over Los Angeles. And you'll see how this one pushes it off to the east as well. Uh, goes up into the Rockies comes back out of the Rockies by Thursday afternoon. Uh, low pressure is around in here. And this, will, again, will track it southeast, much like the European did. So it's not so much an easterly track, but more of a southeasterly track. Area of low pressure by 3 a.m. Friday is down here just west of Dallas. Notice the moisture coming up on southeasterly winds that are streaming further north uh, up into Iowa. I think generally we're probably talking the general snow line would be here. So north of here would be all snow. Probably a little mix smacked into here, and then you got rain down here over uh, Dallas and Texas. We'll go ahead and play this out through Friday morning and Friday at 6 o'clock. Here we go. This is what the European was starting to show, where it starts to cut off this moisture right here, and then it splits it, and then you got moisture back further south, and there might even be an area where you don't get a lot of moisture. Uh, right now, you're talking rain and snow probably, or I should say snow probably north of this line. There could be a little mix in here as well. But I think mainly for us, we're talking all snow. At least that's the way the models looked as of the last runs of them uh, through Friday. 
and then by Saturday, we, again, we turn much colder as this storm moves off to the east. Saturday's high of 29, Sunday morning's low of 16, and Sunday afternoon's high of 26. And I'm factoring in, for, especially for the Sunday temperatures, that we would have one, two inches of snow on the ground. And it's not even a question we could see three inches of snow on the ground. Right now, the system does not look to be a major snowmaker for us. Uh, I know I've heard some rumors, oh, we could see six to eight inches of snow out of this. Right now, I just do not see that. Uh, nothing is indicating that, but a lot can change between now and then. Here we are, Christmas Eve, with a map I've made with some, where I think there could be some travel issues when it regards to the weather. Areas in pink would be where we could be seeing snow on the ground or snow falling. Areas in green indicate r uh, rain, and uh, maybe even a little mix on the northern edge of that. And that also is included up in the northwest United States. So if you're doing some traveling on Friday, this is what you'll want to kind of keep an eye on if you're traveling in any of these areas. You want to pay attention to the forecast to see how things change. A lot could change between now and Friday. The storm, as you saw, is still in the Pacific Ocean. Right now, the only way for the models to be able to, to really know what's going on with that storm is to use satellite data uh, from remote sensing, or when airplanes fly through it, they are able to report back weather conditions, um, and also ships on the water are able to report back conditions as they go encounter that storm. But we don't get real data uh, and a good sampling of it until it moves on shore. So once we get the storm gets on shore tomorrow morning, uh, the 12Z run tomorrow morning or the 0Z run tomorrow night will get a better f handle on this storm. And don't be surprised if there's a lot of changes between tomorrow morning and then tomorrow night or even for that matter Thursday morning's forecast because uh, this model will handle it totally different once we get to that time period. Again, thanks for checking out my vlog here at uh, New at DeSauer, and I hope you have a great afternoon and look for more updates uh, on the storm coming up here in the future.